Vroom is based in New York. Uh, mm -hmm. You guys have raised something like $54 million, yeah, absolutely. something like that. Mm -hmm. And your company uh, allows somebody to buy and sell a car by a mobile phone. Is that right? That is correct. Can you explain how this works? Yeah, so it's, you know, it's all about bringing simplicity to a complex transaction. And most of the time when someone is thinking about buying a car, it's just that, just buying a car. But in reality, they mostly have a car to sell or trade in in most cases. Uh, there's a finance transaction component and then they're trying to buy the car. So we're trying to bring the simplicity, the transparency to that and allow a consumer to not have to make a trip to a dealership. They can do it from home, uh, they can sign their paperwork from home, they can sell us the car, they can get it shipped for free, and if they don't like it, they can simply return it for free as well. So. What kind of business are you seeing? What are you seeing among your customers, trends, things like that? Well, you know, it's kind of all over the place. You'd think that we'd probably hit more of a millennial type target when you're talking about buying and selling a car online, but you know, uh, Americans love buying cars in the U.S. and um, they love cars in general. They usually hate buying them. So it really kind of spreads throughout the, the whole demographics, as you might, might imagine. We sell luxury cars. We sell sports cars. We sell, you know, starter cars to uh, college students. So, Mike, um, you know, this doesn't terribly sound like a threat to the dealership model. The dealership model is massive. You know, we got a startup here, a fast growing one, but a startup nonetheless. Um, you know, should they feel threatened, dealers? Um, maybe. I mean, it, the dealership world is a massive political block. They've shown that they can be def they can play good offense with uh, the Tesla battle. It's a trillion dollar industry, though. Uh, I know that the, the the play with you guys is to go after the dealers. I wonder how much of your clientele is actually more of eBay Motors. Uh, Hemmings, yeah. uh, Craigslist. Absolutely. No, they are. I mean, <clears throat> you know, most people are using some of those sites to yeah. find a car. And, you know, in most cases, we have a car that they've kind of been searching for. But, um, you know, we, it's a, such a fragmented market. No yeah. one really has a large market share. Um, and we just genuinely believe that people just don't like walking into a car dealership. There's, um, there's a stigma around it that, you know, you're going to get taken advantage of. And if we can bring transparency to that, um, and, and make sure people feel like they're getting a good value, yeah. that why shouldn't they be able to do it from home?